Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome couple's fifth wheel that is great for full timing it. This is a 2021 Heartland Big Country Model 3460 GK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Big Country and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's World's Only Channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel, the Big Country. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Big Country. <laughs> hey, Big Country. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going good. We're still here in Virginia. It's yes. still a little chilly, but um. I'm excited to take a look at the big country. The last one that we did was really nice. Yeah. Um, you don't hear about them quite as much, so we'll see what see what it has to offer. And as Will said, we were pretty impressed last time, and I know we're gonna be impressed this time. Will, let's begin. Model is Big Country 3460GK. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 38 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 12,000. 434 pounds and will the hitch weight? 2,660 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, it's not necessarily about the weight. You can tell it's about that pin weight as well. That's right. Right up here, we have a nice painted fiberglass front cap. A uh, beautiful, nice, says Big Country. This is the sister product to the Heartland Big Horn as well, just so you guys know. Right here, we do have a limper component pin box. Okay, very nice. And then underneath here, you see all this green, Will? Yeah. It's all that pollen from uh, the Virginia pollen. All right. Right here, look at this. I love this storage. I love how it connects to over there. That is a very nice feature. Right there's your batteries. And then here, you see the cutouts? Yep. That means it is prepped for a generator. Right here, you have your auto leveling feature. Okay. And then here is your propane tanks. Now this has these hydraulic fluids. This has six point hydraulic auto leveling. It's the best auto leveling in there the industry, is, yeah. pretty much. Uh, we have speakers on the outside here with frameless windows. Also, we have a nice power awning with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Or not? Is it? It's probably in the one touch. So this does have the one touch, right? Yep. And Keystone has the. Uh... And command. Listen, guys. I know they're trying to be fancy. But I hate it because the digital screens aren't as um, touch sensitive. Exactly. It's like an iPad. So it's always a pain in the butt. But it is a nice big power awning with LED lights. Okay. Right there we have our sewer coast connector right there. And then check out this storage. Again, I love that. That's so smart how they it made is. it. Because yeah. it just, oh, you know, really smart. Right here we have TV right here with a coax. Right here, GFI power outlet. And um, and here's something else that's a nice feature. Notice how it's elevated up a little bit more. It makes somebody like Will not have to smash their head. It's a lot better. Yep, exactly, because if it's like this, yep. then Will has to duck underneath. Smart feature there. Right here, we have our more ride steps with the hydraulic lift assist. Very nice. Big grab handle, and because this is a Heartland, they do use Asdale. Asdale is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you, unlike Luan. Luan won't delaminate on you, but it could. It makes it less likely. Right. Coming on down the side here, big windows right there. And then look at these towers. Well, they're the Westlakes. I love those. 
They're the uh, ST235-80R16 with the Morai CRE 3000 suspension. Coming on down the side here, spare tire, spare tire carrier. 300 pound hitch, vertical rate. You cannot tow anything behind this fifth wheel. It is prepped for our Furion backup camera, which you can get them down by using our Amazon link below in wheel. Yeah. It does have a one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. You got pollen on your back too. Do I? Yeah. Press it off. I gotta look fresh for you two. <laughs> there you go. Here we go now. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. There's your digital antenna right there. And this is probably like a cell phone or Wi-Fi booster right there. Here we go now. Great, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Wow. Look at this. Nice 50 amp power cord with a reel. These power cords are big, they're heavy, especially the 50 amp ones. So to be able to just push a button in to reel it in is one of the nicest and one of my most favorite features. Coming on down the side here. A little bit of storage because you can never have enough. Okay. Right over here. Wonderful. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank. That's going to be your refrigerator um, access, access point. Yeah. Right here's where you dump your black and gray tank. Nice big water heater right there. Here's your water hookup, outdoor shower, black and gray tank fill, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then there's where you um, put your sewer hose. And then here's your other propane tank. Well, Will, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. You okay? Oh, uh oh, it's also prepped for the uh, Furion side marker light cameras as well. Check it out, Will. All right. All right, we'll start up front. You got the bedroom up here. Bathroom right here in the middle. Then coming down, you have the kitchen, the dining area, and in the back is your living area. We starting back here? Yes, but well, before we do, yeah, I want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat reader. Okay, so it's you guys might have seen it on Matt's RV reviews, but it's even more important if you have a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. So, if you go camping with your pets, y'all, you can't bring your pets to every restaurant with you. So sometimes you leave them in your camper. This will read the temperature and let you know via the app if it gets too hot or too cold, or if you lose power. Best part about it is you can set it so where if you do lose power, or if it gets too hot, it will send you a text message notification or an email. It's the best way to keep your pets protected. So, the whole thing is, if you go camping with your pets and you sometimes leave them in the camper, the best way to protect them is by getting a My Waggle and Will. We have a custom link down below because they partner with Matt's RV Reviews to get what? The best price in America? The best price in America <laughs> on My Waggle. We have a huge discount because of our fan base. So we thank each and every one of you guys. And then Will. Yeah. This is nice. Sure is. This is a very nice sofa right here. Is it comfortable? It is. I'm not digging the color because it's not RV-like. Right. But it's very residential-like. If you are a clean person, 
This is a fantastic color. Yep. This is, oh, I mean, feel that, Will. That's super soft. Yeah, it is. This does come out to make a bed. Very nice feature right there. Yeah. Makes an adult size bed. You do have two end tables with power and USB there. And I tell you, we, we've been in a lot of RVs. And this is a very comfortable sofa. Nice three big windows all the way around. And then we'll. Let me get that storage. Yes, sir. All right, got some nice storage up top here. In the middle. And over here. Nice. And then even look at the detail of the cabinetry. Yeah. Like that's indented. It looks really nice. Yes. And then also we have a ceiling fan with Whisper Quiet air conditioning unit. Yep. And then over here we have a very nice comfortable theater seat. Cup holders here, cup holders there. Reclining seats, heating seats. Nice big windows right here with the MCD privacy blinds. We also do have cabinetry above here. Very nice. And then also cabinetry above here and right there. And then directly across from your theater seats is your TV and entertainment center. Really nice, big storage, spacious. Nice big TV right there. Connect, DVD, soundbar and everything. And we have two drawers. And we have a Furion 40 inch fireplace. Nice. And then right over here, it's the material we like. It's not carpet. It's right. like a weather wickening material. Right. Nice big windows. I love how there's no cabinets right here because this is always a smaller, tighter space. Very nice chair right there. This does extend out if you do need more space. And it's cu cu couples. It's comfortable for couples. Very nice, big and spacious and everything. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $95,135 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price because it's a 2021, but Will, we sell so many of these and, and we're one of the largest RV dealerships in the country. So we know we will get be able to get everybody the best price in America. We'll tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself and we will get back with you ASAP. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if anybody clicks tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. We'll get the best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys, so nice big kitchen in this. We'll start over here. Yes. With the pantry. Okay. Nice big pantry there. Wow, wow, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wow, all the way down. Yep. Very nice. All right, and then coming over here above the microwave, it's a little bit more storage there. Yes. Got a nice uh, mi uh, microwave there, not convection. Okay, interesting. Um, here, oh, whoa, this whoa, is where whoa. you would see the oh, stove. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I couldn't see it. You know why? Because you're big country. <laughs> um, typically, you'd have the stove here, but you have like a little coffee nook or extra counter space, taco bar, whatever you want here with a window, power, everything. And then you got some drawers here. Right behind me, you have an insignia refrigerator and freezer right here. Wow, very nice. It's already cold. It is. 
And then we'll go here to the island. Nice solid surface countertops throughout the whole island. Now it's, it's not that thick, yeah, y'all. Yeah, but it looks like it. Yeah, it, it does wrap around. It's about that thick. Yep. We've got a couple drawers here. Yes, sir. Nice uh, faucet, two color, which I'm not crazy about. But yeah, I don't like the two color. Yeah, and then a single bowl sink right there with solid surface inserts as well. Um, oh, and that is a, like a farmhouse style. Yeah. Item. And look at how much storage is under the sink. Yeah, that's awesome. Coming over here. Well, how do you feel about the light fixtures? Oh yeah, they're very nice actually. I actually do like them, yeah. yeah. Got some storage here. Good backsplash there, same storage over there, and a nice range hood there. Very nice hood range. That's the nicest one we've seen. Yeah, but it's actually a range hood. Same thing. Yeah. Um, anyway, solid surface countertops as well. Nice counter countertop space on both sides. I love that they're using these uh, stove and ovens yep. a lot more. It's a nice residential size oven and stove there. It's turkey tested. Turkey approved. That's right. Cool. Did you mention the backsplash? I did. Very nice. Yeah. So I nice, I want to say it twice. <laughs> and then, Will, it's now time for the shower test. Okay. Now, it used to be called the tall test, but it's not necessarily about the height. It's about the whole package. That's right. The height, length, width, and depth. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely tall enough. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. It's borderline it's, though. It is borderline. You, well, hang tight. on a second. Can you stand sideways in it? Not with the, mm. yeah, no. We're not gonna fail it. Okay. But can we pass it or no? I don't know. Should I we pass like... it or should we not? I actually kind of vote no, I think. Okay. Nope, no pass. Because like with the doors closed, I wouldn't even be able to turn around. Yep. Crazy. So, yeah. I guess it's big con the big country's not made for the big country. <laughs> we call Will Big Country because he's corn fed. Very nice sink right here. I love how it's that is cool. Yep. It's like a mm. one piece. Nice storage right there. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Oh, I thought it was plastic yeah, yeah. for a sec. Again, kind of same thing, like it's passable, but this little thing sticking out, I can't do it. Can't pass this it. This much. Wow. And literally that much on the shower as well. It's crazy. Yep. Uh, again, like, look at that. It's that much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no big deal. Finishing up in the master bedroom. Okay. Very nice king size bed right here. Yep. Okay. Looking headboard. You got the side windows and everything. Um, right over here, this is prepped for a stackable washer dryer, which is very nice. We have a TV right here. Notice how tall Will is, six mm -hmm. foot three. We got dresser drawers right here. Very nice for everything. Okay. I'm gonna check that out. Very nice. Storage in there. Yes, nice sir. Closet. Yep, yep, for sure. And then let's see if there's any storage underneath here. Yep, with two extra chairs. Well, Will. It's just tight. That's it. That's the review. That's the big country. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the big country and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? You think you dislike? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you go first, and let's start with the bathroom. Okay. Yep, so obviously you guys know where we're going. In this bathroom, it's like everything in here is so big. It's not like it's a small fifth wheel. Yes. You know, but um, the shower is just like just a little too small. The toilet placement's just a little too tight. And we're talking this much yeah. on both of them. Yeah, so it's a little disappointing. And like, if it was just a shower, that'd be one thing, or just a toilet, that'd be one thing. But since it was both, right. you know, it, it made the list. Yep. So that's number one. Down. Number two. So I, I don't like these, you know, again, oh, yeah. they're not touch sensitive, but that's not a big deal. Right. Here's the big deal. That controls everything, but here's the big deal. It controls the awning, which is great, and I love this awning, but there's no awning over here right you know i wish they put an awning on the slide out here 
and then you would have had all freaking 38 feet of shade exactly which would have been very nice feature right so that's two and then do you have a third um do you no neither do i well let me find a third then oh i do have a third okay this unit, this price point, we said this last time, we'll say it again. Yeah. It's a very generic pin box right here. It is. Um, I've seen lighter weight, cheaper fifth wheels that had better pin boxes. Yep. Nothing's wrong with this pin box. It's just for a big country, I, I, I expect a little bit more. Yep. I so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Okay. So we're going right here. Cool. I love this storage. But again, this storage isn't enough to give it a love. But the fact that that little cutout right there, it just made it, it just added so much square footage. It does, it's awesome. It's it's awesome and unbelievable. And I really, really, really do like that feature. Now I'm gonna combo that with the door that just tilts up a little bit yep. more. You know, it's good for bigger people. Cool. That is number one. Number two. Mine's on the inside. Talk to me, brother. So at first, I didn't think that I like this. Okay. But I, I like how they put the stove here for a couple reasons. Number one, sometimes I feel like this gets so like overcrowded. Yeah, look how much Do like- You have room here, you have room here. They are able to put a nicer hood range in. Range hood, I mean. Hood range. <laughs> um, and then also what's cool is you have plenty of, of room on both sides of the stove and oven, so. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, and I don't think we emphasize this enough. That amount of moving space right there is yeah. huge and awesome. Something that we didn't mention, when the slide outs come in, you can use the bathroom and you can access this side of the refrigerator when the slide out is in. Right. Um, and of course, because this will come here, so you'll be able to access that. Yep. So that's number two. And then number three, I want to think of something different and outside the box, you know? Yeah. Do you have a third? I was going to say the furniture. I like it too, but okay. I agree that it's not. Well, we're going to combo it. Okay. We do like the furniture. It is not made for a sloppy person. A sloppy person. Like you? Like me. <laughs> Can't eat flaming Hot Cheetos on it. But it's very nice, very comfortable. I'm. We're going to do like a triple combo. Okay. I like the carpet style, whatever it's called right the weather wickening material and quite frankly i like the backsplash that they used here right it just gives it a higher classier look almost like it's a marble or something yes yeah. yes and it just looks good in in even the way they wrapped this granite made it look yeah. like a real nice thick piece of granite they did no it isn't um and quite frankly to give you this whole package at a really affordable price point once you guys know what the selling price actually is makes it a great fifth wheel well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. Again, if you guys haven't noticed, we're not doing a video every day now. We're doing a video every other day and just spending a little bit more time on the units, going a little bit more into depth, hopefully answering your questions about the units. If you uh, guys have any questions, if you guys you know want to buy this unit, please call, text, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contacting tabs. If you're in the market for a fifth wheel of this caliber, in a few seconds, we're gonna put its competitors right here and here. Will, is there anything you wanna say? Of course. All right, guys, like we said earlier, I feel like the um, big countries, they don't get as much attention and yeah. everything. So um, we will really wanted to bring this to you. I hope that you liked it. Um, yeah, I really think it's a great unit, great floor plan, and with some nice features. Make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to um, like the video and subscribe. And then also, um, anybody who has a pet who is leaving their pet in the RV for any amount of time, make sure you check out my waggle. The yes. link is down below. Yes. We did work out a discount for you guys as well. So uh, check that out. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.